What's up guys, welcome to your 73rd Android tutorial where we're going to get rid of some of these errors. I mean, they aren't really errors, but uh, when we click, we want it to paint in the center of this ball instead of, uh, you know, top left corner. Well, at least make it seem like it's being painted in the center right where we touch. The other one is we want to be able to drag this object around and follow our cursor when we're touching the screen still. So let's get rid of our first bitmap problem. And what we're doing now is we're just basically getting the location and then we're painting the top left corner um, at that location. But what we want to do instead is, for example, if I click right in the center of the screen, it paints our bitmap a little lower and a little more to the right. So what we're going to do right here is our X and our Y. We're going to take our X minus half of our bitmap width. Um, and then that's going to give us right here, it'll paint. And then we're going to do the Y minus half of the height, so we're going to paint here. So basically, um, here's our X and Y, and then we're going to subtract half of our width of our bitmap, so here, and half of our height, and then we're going to go here. This is the point that's going to give us, and then we're going to draw our bitmap. Again, it's still going to be the top left corner, but it's going to draw it up here, and then you know our circle is going to be right there. I don't know if that's kind of confusing or not, but let's just do it. So we're going to say minus and then we take our bitmap so we're going to say minus bitmap um, which we called test and then we say dot get uh, width for the x the x value so we're going to say get width this is just kind of a common um, trick that programmers use for the most part but so think of it just uh, you know kind of how I explained it's giving us half of the width of the length of our bitmap and then we're going to subtract that from the from the x value. And we're also going to do that for the y value as well. So we're going to say minus test dot get height this time divided by 2. I don't know if that's confusing or not, but I just want to show you guys that because it's pretty common in, in programming, especially for game programming and bitmaps. And now when we run our, or let's just finish it because uh, the other problem's pretty simple as well. Um, so this touch on touch method. Basically, it's returning false. So once it gives us our, our information, it's just going to be like false, I'm done. Uh, no more need to check these variables. And, and uh, we don't want it to do that. We want it to kind of loop through. So instead of saying false, we're going to say true. And that's just going to kind of allow it to keep giving us those numbers for the most part. So that's the simple fix for making the bitmap actually follow our cursor when we're clicked down pretty simple um, I mean it's not much of a tutorial I know but uh, hopefully you learned something a little bit about the return value for the on touch and as well as kind of that graphics trick so when we click now the bitmap appears right in the center for the most part um, yeah right where we click it seems like it's appearing right there um, and then the other thing we need to do is click and drag and as you can see now, since we changed that return from false to true, our bitmap is kind of following us along. Um, and in the next tutorial, not quite sure what we're going to do yet. I might do a little, maybe like one or two more on this graphic stuff, and then we're going to get into something completely different. So I'll catch you guys then. Peace.